Hello, my name is Michael Bermudez, Occupational Therapist. I am going to present a lecture on the topic of ergonomics today. So what is ergonomics? Ergonomics is the relationship between people and their environment or tools, usually at work. So it is a science. How is ergonomics important to you as students? Let me ask you this question. Are you seated on a chair right now? Is the chair too high or too low? Is the chair that you're seated on promoting good body posture while you're seated listening to this lecture? Your computer, is the screen too bright or too dim? Are you, are you bending your neck to look at the screen right now? So these are questions that you can ask yourself so that you have all these, um, so you can uh, generate these ideas of ergonomics. So I know that you have related to to your environment in 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 school or at home. So you do have an idea about ergonomics. The emphasis of this of ergonomics is one relationships the relationship between people and their environment and also interactions the interactions that happen in the environment Ergonomics comes from two Greek words, ergon, meaning work, and nomos, meaning laws. So literally speaking, ergonomics is work laws. It is designing for people wherever they interact with products, systems, or processes. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, ergonomics is a scientific study of people at work. Ergonomics' goal is to decrease stress and injuries as a result of muscle overuse, repetitive activities, and bad posture. Ergonomics also deals with stress in the workplace. Do you have enough rest breaks? Do you exercise after work? And what are the quality, quality interactions you have with co-workers? Poor posture. An example of poor posture at work is bending the back while working or lifting objects. Another common poor posture at work is slouching during sitting. Injuries can happen while using the same muscles and joints to perform a task or work. Repetitive tasks become more harmful when combined with poor posture. These tasks can eventually cause pain and numbness in upper extremities. Staying in a position for a prolonged period of time is detrimental for one's health because blood is unable to circulate in your body properly. Staying in a position for a prolonged period of time can also cause swelling in the uh, lower extremities. So it is a good idea to stretch 
during work. Exerting too much force can cause tissue damage. This becomes more dangerous when a person is in poor health or uses improper techniques. Knowing proper body mechanics becomes important at work. Ergonomics also deals with environmental factors. Does your workplace have too much noise? Is there too much lighting or too little lighting? Is it too hot or cold in your workplace? Is there adequate ventilation in the workplace? Is there storage, like adequate storage and disposal of hazardous materials? Ergonomics also deals with injuries or prevention of injuries. Common injuries in the workplace are lower back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain, and wrist pain. A common uh, wrist injury is the carpal tunnel syndrome in which the median nerve is impinged because of repetitive movements of the wrist. Actions like typing can cause this. What are the solutions for preventing injury and also promoting health in the workplace? How can we decrease risks for injuries at work or school? How can we increase productivity at work? How can we promote safety at work? Before we do deal with that, let's look at the anatomy of the spine. The spine is vital to posture and is composed of the cervical vertebra, which composes the neck, the thoracic vertebra, the middle back, the lumbar, the lower back, the sacrum, the fused part of the spine, and the coccyx, the tailbone. The spine has both qualities of stabilization and flexibility. And these qualities are the same uh, combination that, can, that make the spine prone to injury. It is both a stabilizing structure and a flexible structure. One way we can prevent injuries at work is task modification. So, the proper way of lifting objects is bending your knees and not your back when reaching or lifting. As much as possible, carry objects with uh, close to your body so as to protect your joints and conserve energy. Embrace beneficial work habits. Prioritize your tasks. Are your tasks really necessary? Take care of yourself and develop this sense of self-awareness and social awareness. Try to connect with co-workers. And this is my favorite part. Have a sense of humor at work. Take rest breaks. Rest is important. Do something relaxing after work. Enjoy your time away from work too. Stretching and exercise can reduce stress. It can improve circulation. Just remember to perform stretches in slow movements and watch your breathing. Avoid repetitive exercises to the, to the neck and wrist and watch for pain. Consult your doctor before you undergo uh, an exercise regimen. Creating workspaces that encourage good body mechanics or posture is important to people who are studying ergonomics. This is just a primer on, body, uh, on good body posture while working. This woman's back is all the way back in the seat, so the whole back and the butt the buttocks are supported. The feet are flat on the floor. The hip is bent between 90 to 120 degrees. The wrist is uh, the 
the elbow is bent between 90 to 120 degrees and the wrist are minimally bent. Notice that the screen, the computer screen, is a little bit lower than the eye level. So this is just an introduction to good posture in the workplace. Ergonomics also deals with adaptive equipment like furniture designed for good body posture and also special computer and electronic equipment designed for individual needs. Notice the shape of this keyboard and the chairs are adjustable in height. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration is a federal agency that regulates workplace safety. This a agency ensures safe, healthful conditions for workers. What can you do as students to promote good health in the workplace or school? Identify the potential hazards in your class or home. Be aware of good body posture while sitting and moving. Promote safety in school. Be creative. Modify your workspace. Design. So now, what we're going to do now is for tomorrow, we are going to make a knowledge map. So, ergonomics. This is just an example of what you're going to do tomorrow. Ergonomics is decreasing or preventing injuries at work. It is a science. Deals with adaptive equipment. deals with good body posture work safety regulations and many more so this is just a precursor for your map and, and um, we are going to share our maps with each other so that we can learn from each other. Also tomorrow we are going to make pamphlets and um, posters to, pr so, uh, to promote ergonomics, injury prevention, and good health and in the workplace and also in school. Eventually what we're going to do is we're going to observe our classes to see if we are seated properly or um, is there any way that we can um, decrease um, decrease injuries in our environment. So we will, uh, we will hone our ob observatory skills by looking at uh, the classes and see if um, uh, there are there is something we can do to modify the environment for increased safety. So, 
I hope you enjoyed this lecture and we are going to see each other tomorrow before I end I'm just going to show you the references where I based my lecture on have a good day